I found this little oddity when I was digging through a box uh, the other day and I thought you might uh, be interested in it. It's uh, kind of an antique. It's a rangefinder off of an old camera. Uh, this is the front side of it, so this would be facing towards the subject. And it would sit, it was inside the camera, and it was like sitting over here. And as you move the lens, it would move a little lever down here on the bottom. You can see this little lever. And that would allow you to tell when something was in focus. So it's uh, actually a, a very interesting little bit of device that uses geometry to tell you your distances. Uh, let's take a close up, take a look around it, and see how it works. The front side has three main pieces. It has this main viewer, so this is where your eye will be looking out of, and it's where the subject image will be coming in. It has this screen right here, where you see the four cutouts in the corners. That would show you the uh, area that was in the picture, and you can see it moves when I move this lever because what you need to compensate for parallax. And then the last thing you can't really see much is this hole over here. So this acts like your right eye, and this piece acts like your left eye. And if you've ever noticed, if you wink your eyes back and forth, objects up close will appear to shift back and forth, back and forth. And this is using the same principle. So again, this is acting as your right eye. This is acting as your left eye. And through some uh, geometric magic on the inside, uh, it'll create two images inside the viewfinder. And when those two images align, that is when the uh, camera was in focus. So, okay, let's continue our look around. This is the back side. So on the camera you'd be looking through here with your eye and you'd be getting an image out the front up here and um, this piece right here, what it does is it combines an image that's from the left eye of the camera and from the right eye of the camera. Over here you can see there's a hole that, right here, comes through, hits this mirror, goes through a semi-partially silvered mirror, goes through a little uh, deflection thing through a lens, and then it ends up, that image ends up over here. So these two images are combined, and through that lever, I showed you on the front, um, you can see down there in the middle that uh, piece moving. And what that does is it shifts the image from the left and right camera eye uh, on this piece of glass right here. And when those two images align, you knew it was in focus. So this was a focusing aid. Um, yes, you could set these cameras based on distance. They had numbers on them, you know, how many meters, how many feet. But uh, what this did is this allowed for a much more accurate um, setting of the uh, distance. Here's another view of what's going on. Over here is where your eye is looking straight through, and this is where the subject would be. This is that combiner piece of glass. Um, this is the left eye mirror, so this is where the, sorry, the right eye of the camera comes in. It reflects from here. It goes through this special, uh, well, what would you call it? A, it cuts down the light into a uh, very specific little shape. You can see that right there. It passes through. There's another lens right there, and that lens shifts. You can see it. That lens shifts. And by shifting, it shifts the image on here. So this is that combiner piece of glass. So what happens is, again, you're looking through this way. There's one image coming in like this. There's another image coming in here. It's this piece is chopped into a nice little square. That little square is moved back and forth, and that image is placed on this screen right here. And again, the position of the lens depends upon the combination of those two images, and when those two images align, uh, that is when the camera is in focus. You can see those windows over there, like that. And if I can get this right in front of the lens, get my fingers out of the way, you can see the framing around the outside, those gold edges 
and yeah then you can see also in the middle of the picture there's a gold uh, image that's moving see that and if I look at one of those uh, vertical members of the window and that's what worked best is finding something that was vertical and then you see that gold image it's off to the right now as I move this that vertical bar lines up that would be in focus and um, yeah letting it go back to the right again and if I over focus the other way so that was it you say well that's not very clear that's not very uh, good system no it worked best in bright light in fact in dim light it didn't work very well at all so yeah that was it so there would be focus that would be out of focus and that would be out of focus and that's how uh, the mechanical range finders on these older cameras worked okay i well, hope you found that useful and interesting in your photographic endeavors